All right, just tell me when to go. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Panda Tech Panda in the building here on the Oh So Dope Network. I'm going to be covering your your technology, anything that you need to know about tech. Cell phones, laptops, desktops, if you're building the computer, pieces that you need to get. The newest technology, if it's hot, then should you cop it or drop it? You know, sometimes we just pick up technology and we don't even need it. So, I'm going to be here to guide you guys through that on the Oh So Dope Network. A little bit about myself is I am the Tech Panda. That is me, that is my business, that's my... That's my life. I eat, sleep, and breathe technology, okay? Like, anytime something new comes out, I'm the first one on it, okay? And I'm going to help y'all be the first one on it. Like a Baptist pastor, I'm going to keep this short and sweet, you know what I'm saying, before I go to my seat. But we're going to start out today with something that a lot of people have, and they don't even know why they have it, and that's your smartwatch. So, different types of smartwatches out there. You got your LGs. Your Samsungs, of course, you got your Apple Watch. Little known brands also have smart watches for you ladies. They got the Michael Kors joint if y'all want that. Fossil has one. Uh, I think Pebble that used to have the cell phones. Y'all remember the Pebble? I think they have one. Uh, you know, you got your Fitbits. So, first thing we're going to cover is what is a smart watch. Smart watch is anything that's going to integrate to your mobile devices. So that's different from a fitness tracker. Your, your Fitbits and stuff like that. Now they have the Blaze edition of the Fitbit which comes with a screen and everything but your fitness tracker is only going to have a limited display that does steps, heart rate, that's about it. You might get a clock if you're lucky. Smart watches is something like this. This is the Samsung Gear S3 classic edition right here. This connects directly to my Samsung S8 Plus which is right here. Gotta have that repping the Samsung brand all day. So you connect these via Bluetooth to your smart device. So what makes it so handy? Say you're a person that gets a lot of notifications. You're always reaching in your pocket or your purse trying to dig it out, trying to see if it's important, if you're going to have to hit them people back or whatnot. You have your smart watch, as soon as you get that notification, boop, check it out on your watch and see who it is, you'll be like, mm, I'm going to leave them on read. So that's one of the best things about your smart watch is you can be discerning with your messages. That's the number one thing, for me at least, is being discerning with my messages. Also, if you work a lot and you get notifications, like BJ says, he uses his to do GPS for his job. He can just see his, his turn by turn right there on the wrist. Keep you from being distracted. That's what a smartwatch does is it keeps you from being distracted. Now, the big question is, which would you choose? The Apple Watch, which we have here, or the Samsung? Well, that's going to depend on a couple things. One, what kind of face do you like? Apple Watch only comes in square face. The Androids have multiple faces. Some are square, some are circle. So that's going to depend a lot on it. Also, interface. Right now, these are not interchangeable. You cannot have your Apple Watch connected to your Samsung. It's going to tell you that when you first open up the app. That's one of the biggest things. Also, speaking of apps, all your Samsung and Android devices are going to run off an app. So you're going to have to download an app to run it to change the watch faces and things like that. Apple Watch is native. You know how Apple does it. They do everything simple like that. So one of the other big questions is, should you get a smartwatch? Well, does anybody really need a smartwatch? Probably not. But once you get it, that's it. You're never going back. You're always going to have a smartwatch on. Your Casio is getting put down. You, you, everything is getting put down probably until Rolex makes a smartwatch. Everything is getting put down. You're only going to want to rock your smartwatch. That's just the bottom line to it. So, if you want to be hands-free, get your notifications so you can be discerning about it, 
smartwatch. Also, one of the one key factors on the Oh So Dope Network is it's just dope. Check it out, man. This this thing has a rotating bezel, okay? The stunt factor is immense. When you have a smartwatch on, people are going to look at you. They're going to say, this person knows about technology. Even if you don't, even if the only thing you do on your smartwatch is check your text messages and check the time, you look cool. What else is there to say about that? Who doesn't want to look cool? So make sure that you grab your smartwatch. The one thing that I can tell you about a bias guy on a smartwatch, look and see uh, if it's compatible with your device. You don't want to get a, the wrong device. You think that you got the new hottest watch and it's not going to work. Especially with your Samsungs because you have Android Wear and you also have Gear. Those are two different apps that run two different sets of phones. And if you don't have an up-to-date phone, you don't want to go with a smartwatch. It's going to kill your battery being connected to Bluetooth all the time. So this really, you really got to step it up if you're going to rock one of these every day. So in conclusion, smartwatch, should you get one? Absolutely. Get it if it don't do nothing else but stunt with it. That's all you got to do is just be like, hey, whoosh, you see that? The flick of the wrist like that? That's where you want to be. Go ahead and stunt with them. Tell them Tech Panda said, I need a smartwatch. When you go into Best Buy, say, I need a smartwatch. This has been the Oh So Dope Network, Tech Panda. Make sure you do all those YouTube things. Likes, comment, subscribe. Do all the YouTube. Insert that right here. We'll see y'all later on the Oh So Dope Network.